is it your misfortune and none of my own? Yes, it's I, I, oh, get along, you little dog. You know that the ferry will be your new home. Now for the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim. Two riders approach the horse corral near Fort Anderson. Oh, over there. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Well, Lefty, down yonder is a new bunch of horse flesh that just came into the fort. Government horses, huh? Yep. The fort's about a mile west of here, but they keep the horses in this ranch. Are these the cayuses you were telling me about? Sure. Hey, ain't that risky business, taking horses at a government fort? Sure. It would be if you tried to go in there and lead them out of the corral now. But that ain't what I got in mind. Well, what's your plan, Rester? Listen, Lefty. You and me and the boys just came up from Texas. So we ain't likely to be well-known in these parts. Yeah? I've heard the troopers has been having plenty of trouble with the Redskins. Chief Black Bear is camped up in the Smoky River... And he's plenty mad because the Indian agents ain't delivered the supplies he was promised by the government. What's that got to do with these horses? Now, hold your stuff there. Keep your shirt on. I'm coming to that. If we can stir up a fight between Black Bear and the troopers at Fort Anderson, it'll give us a chance to grab these horses. You mean we can sneak in while the troopers and the Indians are fighting somewhere else? Sure. But how are you going to make them fight? (laughs) I get that all figured out. Look down now by the corral... There's only one sentry guarding them horses. Yeah? Well, this rifle I'm holding and that sentry is going to start the trouble. Come on, now. We'll circle back through the trees and come up on him from behind. Come on, get up there. Much of the trouble and much of the misunderstanding between the Indians and white men was stirred up by the outlaws and criminals who roamed the old western plain. These unscrupulous men robbed and cheated the Indians, and it was only natural for the red men to blame the white settlers and troopers and seek revenge. The United States government built forts and army outposts throughout the plains country to bring law and order to the frontier. Assisting the troopers and local peace officers were the fearless and courageous United States Marshals. These thrilling and exciting days come back to us now in the adventures of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. We join the Marshal outside Lightning Jim's office at Fort Anderson. Hey, Lightning, Lightning, come here. What you want, Whitey? By golly, I just thought my puppy had to chase a stick. No, good. Well, look who's coming. You're a little young, of course. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Whitey. Howdy, oh, there. Howdy, son. Where you been? Down to see the new horses. New horses? Yeah, they just brought them horses in for the troopers, you know. Is that so? Well, I have to go down and take a look at them. Fine horses. Better than Indian ponies. If you get one for me, Lightning. <laughs> sure. Soon as you get big enough to ride one, son. Right now, I think that little Indian pony of yours better for you. Oh, I think so, too. Him all right. But I want big horses. Well, we'll see about that, Johnny. Say, hey, Whitey says he's taught his dog how to fetch a stick. You may want to see him do that. Yeah, so do I, Johnny. Oh, you do. Yeah. All right, you just watch me. Uh, come here, puppy. Come here. <laughs> uh, uh, one, two, three. Go get it. Come on. Oh, look at him. Look at him, Johnny. Look at him go for it. Go bring it back, turn off. Hurry up, no. Hurry up. See? He did something good. Come back quick. Say, that's fine, Whitey. Oh, she's plenty smart. She sure is. is. Here come Colonel Steele from Fort. Yes, yeah, seems like he's in a hurry, too. Howdy, Lightning. Hello, Howdy. Colonel. Just in time to see Whitey's dog for Fort. Oh, I'm teaching her some tricks, you know. <laughs> well, that's fine, but I'm afraid I won't have time to watch now. Lightning, one of our troopers was just shot down by a redskin. Don't be near me. Who was it, son? Private Jones. He was doing sentry duty out at the horse corral. and was on his way back to the fort when some varmint picked him off with a rifle. Gosh, that's too bad. 
What makes you think it was a redskin kind of... Well, you know, we've been having plenty of trouble with those red devils lately. Some of the tribes are claiming that their agents are holding out on their supplies from the government. Uh-huh. Any idea what tribe it might be? Uh, could be Chief Wolfpaw. Well, we cleaned out most of Wolfpaw's men. I heard that he'd gone north. Besides, Wolfpaw wouldn't be entitled to receive no supply from the Indian agents. Yes, that's right. The only tribe that's camped fairly close to Fort Anderson is Chief Black Bear's Omaha. Yeah, but we ain't had no trouble from Black Bear for a long time. Not since we had that peace council with him at Marcus and Crick, remember? Yes, I know, I know, but you can't trust those redskins, no how. They make peace with you at their council fires, then go out the next day on a raid or a scalping party. Black Bear will be quiet as long as he gets what he wants, but if he's got the idea that we're holding back on his supplies, he's likely to do anything. I see, and you figure if it wasn't Wolf Paw, this murder might have been done by one of Black Bear's waves, huh? Well, I don't know for sure, but that's what I'd like to have you find out, Lightning. All right, Colonel. Black Bear's always been kind of friendly to me. I think I can find out if he's mixed up in this business. I'll send some of the troopers with you, if you say so. No, Colonel, if I went into Black Bear's camp with a troop of soldiers, he'd be hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. Why do you and me, you'll go up to the camp, and I'll have a talk with the chief. Well, that's fine. I'm planning to take some of the troopers and the supply train up to Fort Edwards, but I expect to be back tomorrow. Now, in the meantime, see what you can learn. And if Black Bear is riled up, tell him that we'll see that he gets supplies if they're coming to him. I'll do that, Colonel. Now, I've got to get back to the fort. See you later, boys. Hello, Colonel. Good night, Colonel. Well, lightning looks like there's redskin trouble in there. Well, let's don't be sure it's redskins till we find out what's going on. Oh, but uh, who else would have shot down a trooper? Why do you find you the answer to that one? I'd arrest the guilty party right away. Come on, we get our horses and go up to Black Bear's camp. Yo, yo. Whitey. Yo, what do you want, Johnny? Can I play with your dog? Oh, why, certainly you can. Come here, puppy. Come here. All right, puppy. You stay here with Johnny till me and lightning come back. <laughs> I'm mistaken, Whitey. That Tom Tom means that somebody just died in Black Bear's camp. He wish lightning. I don't like this business at all. I think we better go back to the fort. Back to the fort? What for? Well, uh, I just don't want to go to no Redskin funeral. That's all. They're, they're bad luck. Oh, nonsense. We're going up and have a talk with Chief Black Bear. Uh, well, uh, maybe you better go up and talk to the chief, and I'll, uh, I'll just wait for you down here by the river. Hey, you know, I think you're beginning to get soft, Whitey. No, no. All I right, think... then. All right, come on. Let's go, Thunder. No, no, kid. No, no, kid. Oh, Thunder. Poor oh, oh. Howdy, Chief Black Bear. Uh, why you come, Black Bear Camp? Well, I heard you was camping up here on the Smoky River, Chief, so just thought I'd drop in for a little visit. Last time we met, I smoked a peace pipe at the council at Moccasin Creek, remember? Oh, uh, yeah. Black Bear make peace with white men, then. White man promised to give Black Bear cattle and food for land. That's right. White man tell Black Bear come to Fort Anderson. But Indian agent not give Black Bear what white man promised. What? You didn't get your supplies? Uh, agent, tell him Black Bear, white father in Washington, not have more supplies for Black Bear. Braves come here long way after many moons pass. Now must go back, tell tribes, White man lie. Oh, you don't have to do that, Chief. I'm sure there must be some mistake somewhere. I'll see what I can find out about your supplies. Uh, that's too late now. Black Bear show what white man do. Hey, Don't be near any lightning. Look there. He was right. You're bringing a dead fella over here. Keep quiet, Whitey. Let me do the talking. Well, don't waste any time, Lightning. I want to get off there. She knows, she. This, the body of running deer. Him, black bear's son. Him, die today. 
I'm sorry, Chief. What happened to him? Running deer shot down by white soldier. What? You say a white soldier killed running deer? No, Kia. Black bear, no white soldier kill running deer. Steal gold charm of black bear tribe. Did you see him shot down? I no. Any of brave see it happen? No. Oh. And how do you know it was a white soldier? Find this by running bear body on trail. By gallus, that's a true percept, all right. Yeah, and here's a man's name printed inside. So who was it? Private Jones. Prior with you. Yeah. You know trooper who killed running deer? Yes, Chief. The man who owned this hat was shot down and killed. Just like your son running deer. Yeah. How white soldier be dead and kill running deer, too? Couldn't. When did you find running deer? Little well, go. Yeah, well, this trooper was killed early this morning. If white soldier <laughs> dead, why his hat by running deer? Well, it could have both been shot down by the same man. Or they might have been shot down by two killers. That's what we got to find out. Yeah. Black bear not believe what you say. Black bear and braves think white soldier kill him running deer. Black bear think you honest. But no, you try to save soldiers. Now hold on, chief. I'm here to help you. Some hombre killed the trooper and maybe it's the same one who shot down your son. Now, if we work together, we can catch them. No, no, that's too late now. White man, lie to Black Bear. Kill him, running deer. You leave Black Bear camp now. You stay. Black Bear not know what Braves will do. We make war on white soldier. Come on, fighter. Oh, steady, boy. We gotta get back to Fort Anderson. Oh, then I'm halfway there already. Let's go, partner. Whoa, come to whoa, boy. Well, what is there's the trail going into Fort Anderson? Sure, and the sooner we get there, the quicker, by golly. Yeah. I thought them Redskins was going to get us for sure. I told you we didn't have no business going into that camp in the first well, place. Well, just the same way. If we hadn't gone in there, wouldn't know about Black Bear's son being killed. Sure, and we wouldn't sure. know that Black Bear intends to attack the troopers. Sure, sure. Say, you really think it was the same Jaeger who done uh, boat shooting? Well, yes, why do you do? I've seen this happen before. Somebody's trying to stir up trouble between the troopers and the Indians. That would be a good way to do it. Have the troopers think the Indians killed the sentry and... The... Indians believe that the troopers killed Black Bear's son. Sure, but uh, what good can anybody get off to that? Well, there's a reason, all right. It's our job to find out what it is. First, we've got to get back to Colonel Steele as soon as possible. Let's go, Thunder. Come on, boys. me and Lefty shot down the trooper. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told him. Well, I went up by Blackbeard's camp. I seen one of them redskins coming down the trail, and I let him have it. Then I rode up to make sure he was dead and put the trooper's hat on the ground side the redskin's body. Trooper's hat? Yeah. 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 When I picked off that sentry, I got his hat and took it along so as I could use it to make the redskins think their brave was shot down by a trooper. What did you do then, Lefty? Well... I waited till some of that Redskin's partners come along and found the body. <laughs> You'd ought to heard the yelling that went up. Sounded like a bunch of calves getting branded. That <laughs> <laughs> boy, here. Yeah. Look at this. What is it, Rester? Yeah. It was hanging around that Redskin's neck. It's made of gold, and I figured it was some kind of good luck charm. Maybe it'll bring us good luck when we go after them horses. <laughs> yeah, no, but wait, wait. That ain't all. I seen two white men going up to Black Bear's camp. Two white men? Yeah, but they wasn't there long. Pretty soon they went riding down the trail toward Fort Anderson. And I figure they hightailed it down to tell the troopers. Yeah, yeah it won't be long now. Are we going after them horses now? No, not yet. We got to find out if the troopers are staying at the fort or going out on the trail after them redskins. Well, how are you going to be knowing that? Lefty, that's your job. You ride into town and keep your mouth shut and your eyes and ears open. If the troopers leave the fort, 
Try to find out which way they're heading and then come back here so as we can go after them horses. The troopers will have their hands full with them redskins. And we can have them horses clean out of the country before they know what's happened. Now get going, Lefty. Sure, sure. <laughs> Oh, boy, oh, thunder. Oh, oh, Party, oh. Lightning. Oh, hello, Johnny. We take good care of Doug, Whitey. See? Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's fine. We go down to Fort and see soldiers leave on trail. Leave? And Colonel Steele and the supply troop have gone? Yes. They go a long time ago. Lightning, what are we going to do now? We've got to go after them right away. You see Chief Black Bear? Yes, son. What Black Bear say? Well, yeah, the Chief Black Bear's plenty mad, I tell you that. Why Black Bear mad? Because some Yeager shot and killed Black Bear's son, the Rodney, dear. Oh, that's very bad. Come on, Whitey, we ain't got no time to waste. Yo, you look after my puppy some more, Yan, and we come back pretty soon. I do that. We go down and see horses again. Come on, puppy. <laughs> Will Lightning Jim and Whitey succeed in warning Colonel Steele and his troopers out on the trail before the Indians attack? You'll hear the thrilling climax in part two of this exciting Lightning Jim adventure, which follows immediately. And now for part two of the thrilling Lightning Jim adventure, Lightning Jim shows Black Bear the white man's trail. An outlaw band headed by Rustler Dan and Lefty stirred up trouble between the Indians of Chief Black Bear's tribe and the troopers of Fort Anderson. The outlaws shot down and killed a soldier and the son of Chief Black Bear, hoping that the Indians and troopers would engage in a fight so that the outlaws could steal a herd of government horses. United States Marshal Lightning Jim and his deputy Whitey Larson went to Black Bear's camp and discovered that the Indians were ready to attack. They hurried back to Fort Anderson only to learn that Colonel Steele and the troopers had already gone out on the trail with a supply train. So now we join the marshal and his deputy on the trail near Smoky River. Lightning, I think we ought to get up with them troopers pretty soon. Yeah, <clears throat> the trail is so easy to follow, Whitey. The order's going to be uh, dark pretty soon. I think they ought to be stopping the camp. Yeah, that's right. I figure they ought to be down close to Smoky River. Oh, see, there's the river uh, below us right now. Oh, Thunder. Oh, there, oh. Yo, what you see, Lightning? Look at that ridge yonder, just north of the river. Yo. You been him, Minnie, this red skin. Right, look beyond them trees up the river bank. Yo, this smoke. Sure, and that ought to be where the troopers is camping. Then those red skins are going to attack the camp. Come on, Whitey, we got to warn Colonel Steele. Let's go, Thunder! <laughs> Whitey, we're almost there. Oh, Thunder, oh, boy. Hey, what's the trouble, Lightning? What's the trouble? Trying to look over on that ridge for them cottonwoods. Why, Redskins? Yeah. See, look, there they come. See? Firing! Looks like them Redskins just let up. Yeah, but they ain't through yet, Whitey. Oh, that's right, Lightning. They've probably retreated a safe distance to have a council on the next move. Yeah, they don't care much about fighting in the dark. My guess is they'll keep the camp surrounded and wait till dawn before they open up again. Right. If we only had some way of getting word back to the fort for reinforcements. How many troopers are back there, Colonel? Seventy-five men. We need every one of them. All right, I'm going back and get them. But you can't do that, Lightning. Those Redskins will have sentries posted to watch every trail. Yeah, I know, but I'm counting on the dark and thunder speed to get me through. Yes, but you just came in on thunder now. He hasn't had time to rest for another <laughs> hard run. 
Girl, you don't know Thunder. Coming out here was just a warm-up for him. Oh, that's right. Yes, Colonel. he can outrun 50 of them Indian ponies every day in the week and twice on Sunday. Come on, come on, come here, Thunder. Come here, boy. Easy now. Got a hard ride ahead of us. Easy now. That's it, boy. Well, be careful, Lightning. Oh, good like Lightning. I know you can get through, all right. Thanks, buddy. I'll have them troopers back here before morning. Let's go, Thunder. Go, Thunder. Go, Thunder. Go, Go. They spotted him. Yeah, but they ain't caught him yet. You can't beat thunder and lightning. <laughs> hey, hey, boys, look. Here he comes, boys. It's Lefty. Oh, oh, oh. Well, what'd you find out, Lefty? It worked, Russell. The troopers and the Redskins are fighting it out up on Smoky River by Medicine Rock. Well, let's well, yeah. go. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Yeah. You sure about that, Lefty? Sure. Well, when I went into town, I seen a kid talking to a couple of law badges. One of them was riding a big black horse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, them law badges hightailed it out of town fast. So I got to talking to the boy. Yeah. And he said the troopers had gone out for, with the, on the trail with a supply train. Yeah. And them two law badges must have been the hombres I seen leaving Bear, Black Bear's camp. But, but how do you know they're fighting? Well, I followed them two law badges to Smoky River. And I seen the Redskins open fire on the troopers camp. <laughs> Come on, boys. We're getting them government horses now. Yeah, come on, let's go. Hey, Johnny. And it's kind of late for you to be out? No, I like to be here when you guard horses. Well, now you better get back to Fort Anderson, son. Someday I'd be soldiers like you. Then I can guard horses. Look. Look, look, men on horses and trees. Huh? Men on horses over there. Oh, they got me. Johnny, go back to the fort and tell the troopers. <laughs> Johnny, what you doing up so late? Me out with horses. Dead men soon set free. Steal horses. What? When this happened? Now. Me ride fast and pony to get help. Well, I'm afraid we can't do much about them horses right now, Johnny. We need help to save Whitey and the troopers on Smoky River. We'll run them horses in the gap till morning, and then we'll take them up to the Rattlesnake Canyon. Yeah. Sure. Hey, hey Ruffer. Yeah, yeah. I just seen a horse go over that ridge. Where, Lefty? Over there, by that clump of cottonwood. I don't see no horses. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come on, boys. We'll make camp in the gap. Well, Whitey, the sun will be up pretty soon. Yo, and that means more trouble with them Redskins. Uh, I hope lightning got through. <laughs> Hold your fire, boys, till they come in range. Don't be him and look at them red devils, right? Yeah, we'll hold out as best we can. Look, Colonel, it's like him and the troopers. <laughs> Well, Lightning, we gave the Redskins a taste of their own medicine. Yo, when Lightning and the troopers come up from behind, I had to tell you that Black Bear's priest was true. Colonel, some of Black Bear's Indians was killed and some of them got away, but just one that didn't. Well, our old friend Chief Black Bear. Yeah. That's right. But this time, I think Black Bear's got a little argument on his own side. What do you mean, Lightning? Somebody shot and killed Black Bear's son, running deer. When Black Bear's braves found the body... They found a trooper's hat on the ground. What? Yeah, I saw the hat, Colonel. Belonged to Private Jones. But he was shot down, too. Right. The Indian agents have been holding out on Black Bear's tribe. And when his son was killed, both he and the Braves blamed it on the white men. Hey! 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 Who goes there? They want to see Lightning Jim. By golly, it's Let him through, Sentry. Come here, son. Then take horses to rails, make cab. What's he talking about, Lightning? Can you lead us there, son? Yes. We know where they take horses. Uh, Colonel, I got a hunch we're going to catch the varmint who shot down Jones and killed Black Bear's son. What? Get a troop of your soldiers. You and me and Whitey and Black Bear are going to follow this boy pronto. Well, come on. Come on, 
tell you, Jasper. Drive them horses through the gap. It's time we put a few miles between us and Fort Anderson. Yeah, sure, let's get out of here. Yeah, them are sure pretty horses, Hucker. Yeah, and they'll bring us a good price, too. We'll have them sold for them troopers get through fighting Black Bear's Redskins. Reach for the sky, you two. Quick, the law, Badger. I'll get him. Ow. Don't reach for that gun, mister. Don't shoot. I ain't slapping leather. Good work, Lightning. The boys will take care of the rest of the gang. We see that one in Fort Anderson. Take the guns, buddy. Look through the pockets. Oh, sure, Lightning. Come here, Chief Black Bear. Ah, law man, plenty good shot. Chief, I'm sure these are the men who killed the trooper and your son so that they could steal these government horses. Oh. Well, there ain't nothing in this Yeager's pocket. Well, search the other one. Oh, no, sure. But how did Johnny know about those outlaws? He was out at the corral and saw him shoot down another of your sentries before they drove off the herd. Why, the low-down critters. I'll see that they hang, every one of them. Well, there wasn't anything uh, on the other one, except in this uh, gold piece here. Huh, huh. That running deer medicine charm. Yeah, I kind of figured they'd have it. Yes, Chief, these are the men who killed your son, all right. Ah, Black Bear do great wrong to lawmen and soldiers. Well, Chief, we can be thankful we found the real criminals before more lives was lost. We'll look into this business about the Indian agents holding out on your supplies, too. We want to be your friends, Chief. Hmm. Chief Black Bear's tribe wants friendship of white brothers. We'll go by a white man's trail... Of rising sun. And so ends another exciting adventure of Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm-hmm. 